Welcome to FX Street. If you like what we're talking about, you'd like to be updated to our content on a regular basis, head on over to YouTube, hit that subscribe button, and you can follow me individually on Twitter at JustAnalysis1. Taking a look at Bitcoin here, Bitcoin is forming a really nice, uh, so I've added the 2022 volume profile here. It's really uh, inside the extended 2021 volume profile. But there's two high volume nodes now set up as we're approaching the end of January. These are some levels to watch. So the current high volume node that we're at at 36,500 36, is below where the current uh, 2022 volume point of control is at 42,500. If there's going to be a move higher, then it's got a very thin profile to move through. So it should have a very easy, easy path moving up. From an oscillator perspective on the daily chart, you know, there is no, uh, uh, there's an absence of any type of uh, bearish uh, continuation in the form of a hidden bearish divergence or regular bearish divergence. Everything's pretty neutral here. Um, I mean, the RSI is testing the first oversold level in a bear market at 30. The composite index is very neutral. It just crossed above. Uh, it's moving averages from neutral conditions, which is usually a very strong bullish uh, move, but we haven't really seen any follow through yet. And then the optics bands are uh, leaning towards the oversold condition yet, but that's still pretty neutral. On the weekly, um, this is not a good zone to be at. So we're below the cloud right now. Uh, last, you know, earlier in the week, we, we pushed all the way up kind of flirted with the idea of getting up to 40k again and we were trading above the bottom of the cloud really in that 37,400 zone and now we're below it um if bitcoin closes below the cloud on the weekly candle the next candle that opens the chiku span moves to the right and it will be below the candlesticks the body of the candlesticks that will fulfill an ideal bearish Ichimoku breakout, which has not occurred on the weekly chart since the COVID crash back in 2020. So this would be a pretty significant event on the weekly chart if that plays out. How low is it likely to move? You know, the it the, the RSI is not a very good gauge here. If, if we were setting this up, in, it's still in the bull market on the weekly chart, and it's testing the last oversold condition at 40 on the weekly. Composite index is sitting at these lows, these historical support level lows, and uh, you can see it turn up. And then the optics bands also there in extreme oversold conditions. The, the last time that they entered into that was back in May of May of 2021. So there's there is a very real threat price action wise from the Ichimoku system that that could drop Bitcoin lower, but the oscillators. Uh, are, are kind of suggesting that that downside momentum may, may be limited in scope. The most likely zone that it would get to, if we were looking at it on like a three-week chart, um, yeah, I mean, the bounce off the 3882 is just really... Eh, there, there's a real danger below, um, we'll say... 29,000. Uh, the volume profile opens up considerably, and the, it, it could be a very fast trip to 20K if that does occur. You have a really massive lack of any type of volume support, no Ichimoku support below that zone. But I tell you what, the when it does reverse, it's going to be pretty epic because on the $2,000 three box reversal chart, this is a spike pattern on a $2,000 box size chart. So each O represents $2,000 worth of price movement. And it has, so it's basically moved from 66K on this point and figure chart. I got kind of a grin on my face because this, this is kind of like a poise for a massive explosion. But from 66,000 to 36,000, there has not been a single retracement on this point figure chart not e not even a three box reversal so when it does happen 
it's likely to be pretty strong. And if it only moves up 50% of the range, we're talking about a return to roughly, uh, you know, 50 to 52 K is that, is that next range. So I would, I would say that the upside potential is limited to, um, it re- on the extreme upside, 50 K more than likely just to 40 K and the downside risks, uh, are, 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 let's just say 30 K cause uh, below that is just no man's land of, of big, 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 big nosedive territory. We'll update this next week. Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.